Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install PHP 8 along with Composer and then we can finally install Laravel. In order for us to get PHP 8.0 we need to add an additional repository because it's not available in the, the ones that come bundled in Ubuntu. So first of all we need to ensure that we have the latest version of Software Pro which is common and also that we're just going to go sudo apt apt install software properties common. In many cases you'll see that this is already installed and that's just great. Next thing is that we need to add the repository I talked about uh, lastly. And we do that by running sudo and then the add apt repository and then the repository. And what this essentially does is that it tells the package manager within uh, Ubuntu to look for packages uh, outside of the official sources. Uh, and we're just going to add the pba andre slash php. And at this point, you're just going to press enter. And then we're going to have to run sudo apt update to refresh the sources list. sudo apt update. And perfect. At this point, we are ready to install PHP. Uh, and we can do that by running the sudo apt install PHP 8.0. And this is going to take probably about 20 seconds or something like that, depending on your computer and your network speed. At this point, we have PHP installed, and we can verify that by running the php-v command. This is going to show us that we have PHP 8.0 PHP installed. But we still need to install some extra extensions, at least for Laravel to function properly. Uh, and those are sudo add install, and we want PHP 8.0 MB string. We want PHP 8.0 XML, PHP 8.0 uh, MySQL. This is so that we can connect to MySQL database. Then we want PHP 8.0 curl which allows us to communicate uh, using the curl command line and then we also want php 8.0 zip and we might not need that but it's good to have it anyway additionally if you want to also use another database such as postgres you can install that by running php 8.0 pgsql i'm not going to do that but if you want you can do it i'm going to press enter and that's going to install the packages that we need Perfect. So now we're essentially ready to install Laravel. But in order for us to install Laravel, we need a package manager that is able to gather all the dependencies. In this case, the preferred solution is Composer. Composer is much like Node Package Manager or NuGet or Maven or Gradle, if you will. It's of course a little bit different, but you'll see there are some uh, similarities. So in order for us to install it, we need to go to getcomposer.org. Well, then here we go to the download section and we're just going to copy this real quick. And once it's done, we now have a file that's called composer.phar. And if we run that, we get all the commands. The problem is that you can only run it from within the directory that we're currently in. And uh, that's problematic because we need that, you know, elsewhere. So in order for us to make it global, we can copy this command and it's just going to move this file and rename it onto the bin directory. And let's do that real quick. And if I type composer now, you'll see that it works, but I can do this anywhere uh, now. So the next thing is that we're actually ready to install Laravel. So we go on to Firefox again, or your browser of choice, and go on to Laravel.com, Documentation, and then down here you'll see Installation via Composer. And we can just copy this command. So this instructs Composer to create a project of the Laravel repository, and then we can give it a name, and I'll just call it Web Demo, and press Enter. This is also going to take a little while, especially the first time, because Composer hasn't cached anything yet. Um, so you're probably looking at 30 seconds or 
yeah, once again, depending on your both your computer and everything else. And once it's done, it's going to do some extra things, and we're basically done. So let's see what's within our directory, and we'll see that there's now a new directory called the web demo. So I'll change directory to web demo, and let's see what's in here. So within here, we have a bunch of new files and yada, yada, yada. The most important one right now is the artisan file. Artisan is the command line for Laravel, and it allows us to interact with our application through it. If we type PHP and then artisan, and we can press the tab key to finish, like so, we will get all the commands that we can use to interact with the current application we just created. Uh, right now, we don't need to worry about any of these, but uh, they're useful. The only thing we're going to do now is we're going to use the Let's see, we're going to use the serve command, and this is going to spin up a development server we can use to start developing in Laravel. So we'll now see that Laravel is running at localhost at on port 8000. And if I click on this, we can now see that it's opened. And here we have it, Laravel is installed and we're ready to develop. We want to close this connection of the server, we can press Control c and it's going to close it. And we can verify that it's closed by going back to the browser and refreshing and you'll see that you can no longer connect to it. I hope that uh, helped you get started. Thank you for watching.